I'm Brian Parsons. Championship Saturday in high school football. Now, the Virginia High School League has six classes. Hampton Roads had two teams represented in those classes Phoebus in Class 3, Lake Taylor in Class 4, a combined nine state titles in the last 17 years between those two schools. Nathan Epstein joins us from Lynchburg with a recap of both games. Two teams chalked with tradition looking to return to the top. Lake Taylor from Norfolk and Phoebus from Hampton. Now the Titans hadn't won the state championship since 2013 and then lost in double overtime in 2014. As for Phoebus, they were looking to return with their first title since 2011. Lake Taylor 13 and 1 on the year, taking on 10 and 2 Woodgrove from Northern Virginia. First half was a shootout. Lake Taylor in red down 12-7 in the second quarter. There goes Malik Newton, 70 yards, gives the Titans Titans a 14 to 12 lead. Next Lake Taylor drive, they're down 18 14. Hey, why not go right back to Newton? One play, that's all he needed to go 50 yards down the sideline. Titans back in front, 28 18, playing without their best defender, Javon Harvey, who was out with an injury. Titans could never keep the Wolverines out of the end zone. Graham Walker lost to the freshman, Price Williams. Wolverines took a 24 21 lead into the halftime locker room. They led by 11 in the fourth quarter. That's when the Titans made one last charge. Jeffrey Foster finds Akeem Wright for the score. Two point conversion failed, so they're down five. Fourth down, two minutes left. The Titans need a first down to keep their hopes alive. Foster is sacked, and that was your ball game. Woodgrove upsets Lake Taylor for the Class 4 championship, 38-33, the final score. The kids were resilient about hanging in there, scoring, and then we, we came up short, and it's a part of life. Everything's not going to go your way, but you're still champions, and you still had a great year. Two 13 and 1 teams. Phoebus looking to go a perfect 8 and 0 in state championship games. First quarter, we're tied at seven. Third down for Heritage in the white jerseys, and for the second straight drive, Jabari Blake busts it. 69 yards to the house. He's getting a number of Division I looks. Phoebus almost playing a true road game in front of the Heritage home fans, trailing 17 7 at the half. Third quarter, here come the Phantoms. Chris Daniels to Barry Hargraves Jr. for a 62 yard touchdown. It's a three point game. Fourth quarter, Heritage again stretches the lead back to 10. Blake with his third rushing touchdown of the game. He also led his team with 177 yards on the ground. Phantoms need a little bit of magic in the four minutes left to play. Perfect play design. Daniels hits Kamari Gray for the touchdown. Extra point though, no good, but it's still a four point game. Last minute and a half, it's fourth down and three for the Phantoms. Daniels trying to keep his team's title hopes alive. It's intercepted, and that's your ball game. Heartbreak for the Phantoms as Heritage comes away with a 24-20 win and the Class 3 state championship. Tough loss, man. I mean, you know, I, I'm proud of my guys and the way they fought to the very end. I mean, the message to those guys is, man, in life, things like this are going to happen, you know? You're going to set out for some out, some for some things in life, there'll be some obstacles, man, and, you know, you may come up short, but, you know, you got to stay resilient. From Lynchburg, this is Nathan Epstein for the Sport Trap.